everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this evening. I hope you're doing great and we're going to be taking a look at what is happening across the Atlantic and also the Eastern Pacific where there are two active tropical cyclones. So we're going to be kickstarting things looking at the Eastern Pacific. So there is newly formed Tropical Depression 16 expected to become Max. So that's the next name to be used for the Eastern Pacific hurricane season. And that is going to be making its way in as we're going to be heading into uh, tomorrow. So it's actually to bring those tropical storm impacts to portions of southwest Mexico and that can induce flooding and even mudslides across some areas especially in those hilly areas but as of now it is sustaining winds of 35 miles per hour and moving up to the north northwest at 5 miles per hour so because of that slow motion that is the reason it is likely to strengthen up to tropical storm status because it is very close to the coast of Mexico and once it moves inland it will start to rapidly weaken but it is remaining over warm waters for now which means that it has uh, more of an opportunity to get itself together a little bit more and become a little stronger attaining tropical storm status and of course there's that tropical storm warning that is in place next is tropical storm lydia so lydia continues to remain just below hurricane status but has prompted watches uh, across sections of western mexico across sections of the pacific coast of mexico so it could be a hurricane at the time of landfall as we head into late tuesday headed to wednesday and uh, other areas such as portions of the southern baja should keep watch as there could also be impacts there so uh, this is likely to bring with it those periods of very heavy rainfall and uh, even some mud slides as well. So here we see two portions of Mexico uh, closer to the southwestern part and further up north which will be dealing with impacts from both of these systems. And you want to watch for those remnants of Lydia as they're going to be continuing to the east over into the Gulf but uh, the winter is pretty unfavorable right now to support any development. So uh, that seems unlikely at this point but we'll see what eventually happens. But even an area of a lot of moisture and those showers and thunderstorms can bring significant impacts to portions of the Gulf Coast states of the U.S. And now let's hop over into the Atlantic Basin and take a look at what is going on. So at a wide view there we have Invest 92L. It is an invest which means an area of investigation. It's been closely watched for development. So the chance is high at 80% through the next seven days and 40% through the next two days. So as we're going to be heading to the middle of the week there is a pretty good chance that it might acquire tropical depression status and the next name to be used for the season is Sean. So this will likely acquire the name Sean and as we can see there is that consistency on the system making its way out to sea not being a bother for anyone due to weakened region across the Atlantic. So without a high pressure system there which would usually steer storms to the west once it is uh, dominant and we're seeing these systems uh, taking that opportunity to curve up to the north as these fronts make their way by. And so uh, taking a closer look at the Caribbean going to portions of northern South America there we can see some thunderstorm activity developing across parts of Colombia, Venezuela, and even over into parts of Northern Guyana. Not for the, uh, uh, the entire country, but for some areas. Much not happening for Suriname this evening. As we head to Trinidad, Tobago, through most of the Lesser Antilles, the ABC Islands, much isn't happening. The tropical wave is propagating further west and is inducing some shower and thunderstorm activity across portions of Jamaica, especially over in western parishes. And even for southern Haiti, some rainfall activity as well. Even see some thunderstorms in portions of eastern Cuba uh, down into portions of northern Colombia as well. Let's zoom in closer to Jamaica. So there has been some periods of very heavy rainfall for some areas this evening. Uh, portions of St. Elizabeth, even for southern St. James and other areas. And you might hear some thunder in the background. So for my area, there is some thunderstorm activity here. Not much rainfall. But uh, for southeast parishes, there hasn't been much activity today. Unfortunately, it's been a very hot and dry day. So we definitely need some rainfall activity to help with the heat and even the very dry conditions, the drought across some parishes. So hopefully as we get so hopefully as we head into tomorrow that is going to be the case however there is still that possibility of some flash flooding due to periods of very heavy rainfall so a lot of heavy rainfall in a short amount of time that can trigger flash flooding so that is going to be a possibility for some areas as we head into tomorrow so if you should encounter flood waters please do not take any unnecessary risks do not attempt to cross turn around don't drown but then as we zoom back out on this map here here we can see that again over in the east remains pretty 
Company dragged the lesser Antilles, including Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, up into the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, much as in Hatton's same story for Central and Western Cuba, and the Cayman Islands as well. Seen a bit of convection nearby, uh, going over into Central America, much not happening for many areas either, but as we head into Nicaragua and down to Costa Rica and Panama, there is some more rainfall activity in those spots. Now, uh, the GFS model and also the Canadian model are hinting that we might see something try to form as we're going to be heading into the latter part of the month. So uh, we're looking at the GFS, the latest on the GFS here, the mod run, and we can see that this is out to Friday the 20th of the month. So quite some time out next uh, Friday. So we can see all these colors, these greens, these hints of yellows and reds. All these colors are indicative of moisture, the average precipitation rate. So taking a look across the Western Caribbean, there we can see an increase in moisture also an increase just outside the caribbean as a tropical wave is expected to approach at the time but the gfs is showing that we could see something try to form in the northwest caribbean as we head to the latter part of october there's that tropical storm in the northwestern part of the basin so a lot of moisture across the region on a whole and this isn't something which is impossible because we haven't had a lot of systems across the basin and there are very warm waters not only at the surface but for some areas far beneath the surface there are very warm waters to fuel anything trying to develop but of course we know that there are other factors such as the upper level winds and uh, whether there's a lot of dry air or not these also help to influence formation of tropical cyclones but this is typically where we want to look for tropical cyclones at this time of year because conditions typically get a bit more unfavorable increasingly unfavorable across the main development region as the season will eventually come to its inevitable close so we'll have to wait and see for that but waters are very warm to support development in the Caribbean. Uh, the Canadian model, as I said, it is also hinting at something. There is that front and at the tail end of that front, there we see that low pressure area developing in the northwestern Caribbean. This is as we head to Wednesday of next week, the 18th of the month. So I'm uh, not seeing where other models are showing that there will be something developing, but they also don't go that far out. So as we head into the next couple of days, we'll see what the trend is. We'll see if Euro, Icon, uh, if they start to pick up on that potential Western or uh, Northwestern Caribbean system as well. But for now, that is what is expected. And of course, I'm here to keep you guys posted. So that is what I wanted to share with you in this update. Again, there are those two tropical cyclones, Tropical Depression 16, as well as Tropical Storm Lydia, which which will be bringing impacts to portions of western Mexico, the Pacific coast of the country as we head through the early part of the new week and uh, even to the midweek as it pertains to Lydia. So uh, that is pretty much it for now guys and I hope you found this video to be quite informative but if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so and as always remember to be weatherwise.